Now, let's have a look at these um, new pieces of work. I say new work, but they're kind of not really new work. They're just like we've been doing before. It's just like there's more pieces around the king that we have to get rid of, right? Okay, so let's have a look at this one over here. I've got to get this guy by himself, right? Ah, but there's some of him over there. It's almost like it's almost like the king's kind of split himself in two, and we need to get him all in one place first. So, what could I do to both sides that would get the king in one spot? Yeah, Brandon. So you're eighteen minus six divided by two. Okay. Woo! You've done a couple of things first there. So you've got uh, this eighteen over here. You want to get rid of the eighteen? Yeah. Okay. So okay. So if I take away six from both sides, I'm going to write that down, and maybe you guys want to. Follow with me. Okay, we'll take away six from both sides. That's going to get rid of this six on this side. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to write that with the right color as 3a. And that leaves me with, okay, now what's happened to the a on this side? Not a rhetorical question. What's happened to it? Nothing's happened to it, right? He's still just hanging out there. Okay, but the 18 and the minus six, they're like terms, aren't they? So they leave us with, Will? Um, Three. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we, we'll get to that, but what's happening over here? Because I haven't finished that's off this number. That's turning into 12. Very good. Plus 12. Okay. So now I've gone a step further, but I'm still, I still got this king. He's kind of in two spots at the moment. So I want to get him in one of these two spots, right? We usually like to end with the king on the left, with our pronumeral on the left. So I'm going to try and keep this one here. Get rid of that one. Jordan, what would you do? Take away one A. Okay. I've got one A here, right? And I don't want him over there, do I? I want everything over this side. So if I take away an A from here, and take away an A from there, right? Same thing to both sides. Everything will balance. So 3A take away one A is 2A, right? How many A's am I left with on the right? None. They all disappear, and I just have that 12. Okay, one last thing to do. We, we've been in this position before. I should divide by two, very good. So, divide by two, divide by two, and that leaves us with six. Very good. Okay, so you can see each time what I did to both sides. Always keep things balanced out. Why don't you have a go at this next one? Watch out for that minus fine in, in front of the six X. Now, we've seen before, there's lots of different ways to go at these, to approach these equations. Just because your way might have started off with a different step, that's okay. So long as this number, you can pop back into your first line. Remember, that's how we check a solution, right? As long as you can pop that back in, whichever way you've gone about it, it's fine. Okay, so let's have a go. My instinct is actually, for this question, to start it off just like I did this question, because I see that six over there, you see that? So I'm gonna go, take away six, take away six, okay? As we've seen, as you start to get more confident, you don't necessarily have to write this extra step in, but I wanna really make sure that we know what we're doing and I'm not accidentally taking away the wrong thing. All right, on the left-hand side, you can tell me, what do I end up with? Yep, the sixes, the plus and the minus, they eliminate each other. And then on the right-hand side, this take away 6x is still just hanging out there. What happens over here? Plus 50, very good. Okay. All right, now here I'm in that position before where I've got the x's on both sides, right? I want to collect like terms. I want the king just in one spot over there on the left. I've got a minus 6x there. What's the opposite of minus 6x? Yeah, Daniel. Uh, plus 6x. Plus 6x, very good. So if I add 6x here, so these will disappear. Of course, you do something on one side, so you gotta do it to the other, right? So there's my plus 6x, okay? Four of them plus six of them, in total I've got 10 of them, 10 of the x's, okay? Over here, the reason why we chose this is to make those guys disappear, which leaves you with 50. And I've got one last step, right? All right, that's okay. What's the last step? Divide by 10, right? I think you guys are so good at this, I'm not going to do the extra writing. When you divide 50 by 10, you're just left with? Five. Nailed it. Okay. Now let's just double check, because a few people got different answers. Let's make sure we know that that works. Over here, on the top line, 4x plus 6 and minus 6x plus 56. Let's see if 5 works out. Okay. So for instance, 4 times 5 plus 6. Order of operations, which one do I do first? You do times. I do times first, right? So that becomes 20, 20 and then I add 20. 6. Okay. 
Okay. Now, what do I have on the right? Well, let's put in x equals 5 and see what happens. If I go minus 6 times 5 plus 56. Again, order of operations, I do the times first. What do I get from this? Minus 30. Minus 30. Minus 30, I add 56, sure enough, 26. I'm getting 26. Now to watch out for that minus sign, because one's minus and one's plus, so that's why I end up with my 26, okay? It checks out. All right, last example we'll do on the board together. This time, I will ask you to pick up your pens and do this with me, because um, it's a little bit different. There's something a bit sneaky about it, okay? Yeah, question. You start by minusing six. Okay, that's a great suggestion. I've got this plus six over here. I don't really want it there. I seem to have a lot of plus sixes around. I'm gonna get rid of that, it's just coincidence, okay? So, if I take away six here, I should take away six here. Is that all right? Let's see if we can do this part in our head. That'll become nothing. I just get left with minus three Q, right? Don't forget the minus sign, it makes all the difference, right? When I take away 6 from this part, A take away 6 is 2. 2. Take away Q. Right so far, I haven't added in these extra red bits. We're just doing it in our heads. If you feel confident, this is where you're going to start getting to. Hmm. All right, now what do I usually do at this point? What did I do at these two lines? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, good. The pronumerals are in two different spots. I want to collect like terms. I've got a minus Q over here. What's the opposite of minus Q? Plus, plus, I'm going to add Q, very good. When I add a single Q to this side, I've got minus three of them, so when I add one, I'll have minus two of them left, right? And of course, when I add it over here, the Qs just cancel each other out. That leaves me with two. All right, well, I'm almost finished. But what's sneaky about this is that negative, right? So I don't just want to get rid of the two, I want to get rid of the negative as well. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Is that okay? The negative as well. On the left hand side that'll leave me just with Q. When I divide 2 by negative 2? 1. Hmm. Now the 2's will give me just 1, but there's a negative in there, right? So there's going to be a minus 1. Now I can test this out. Before I get to your question, Morgan, let's just quickly test this guy out. Up here. Different colour. On the left hand side, I'm going to get 6, take away 3, 3 what? 3 lots of minus 1, right? What's minus 3 times minus 1? What happens to those two negatives? They cancel, don't they? Right. So I get 6 plus 3. You see how those negatives have crashed into each other? 6 plus 3, of course, is 9. Let's see if it works out on the right-hand side. Say it again. Isn't a negative and a positive? That's right, which is why I've gotten this. But here I've got two <laughs> negatives. Two oh. negatives become oh. that positive. Okay, good pick up. Now I want to have a look at the right hand side. That's that, right? Yeah. Eight take away take away what? Minus one. Minus one. And again, I've got two negatives. No, you see that? Yeah. Which is eight plus one, which sure enough nine. is nine. Nailed it. Okay. So you you can always check. You never have to have any doubt. In fact, even this part you could have done in your calculator might have been even faster. Okay.